Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on the Stanley pour over coffee maker. So this is the actual pour over coffee maker. You do not, you can brew into like a Yeti mug. It also fits really well into a Stanley coffee mug, but it's really designed to be brewed into any kind of mug you'd like. Now it has to fit into an opening. It's about two and a half inches. And then it has to sit on top of the mug, something that's not wider than four and a half. So you're simply gonna put your medium ground coffee right here, then you're gonna pour your hot water in here and it's gonna brew the coffee, then drain out the bottom here. But it comes apart for cleaning. So this is the actual filter. It is metal, there's very small holes in there. And it just slides in there. There is an O-ring right here, so the coffee is gonna come out this part right here. It's kind of funneled. And again, there's what that looks like. You're just simply gonna screw that in. And then again, it sits on top of any coffee mug you would like. Put your coffee grounds in here and do your pour over. So let's make a cup of coffee. Okay, so it says to use medium ground coffee. So like for a normal drip coffee maker, uh, three tablespoons is the preferred amount, but you can put four or five tablespoons in there if you'd like. Again, very simple. Just make sure you don't have a lid on your mug. Just place it right on top of your mug. Okay, so you're simply gonna put your coffee around the outside, kind of give it a shake, kind of make it even. Now here's the tricky part. You do have to have a hot water, a water brought to a boil and you gotta be able to kind of pour it in slow. And you wanna kind of just circle it a little bit, get them saturated. And then what's gonna happen next is you're gonna get kind of like a bloom on it. And we're just gonna stop right there for a second. And that coffee is gonna kind of bloom. Okay, so now we're gonna continue on. Again, a nice, slow, steady pace kind of a circular motion so that it kind of mixes the grounds with the hot water. You're getting saturation all around. And then just keep an eye on, make sure you don't pour uh, so much hot water in there that it's gonna overflow your coffee mug. But we can see we still got some hot water. It needs to drain for a little bit and we still got coffee coming out the bottom. Okay, so it's still draining the hot water out. We gotta keep an eye on it. Yeah, we're just about there. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on a plate. I wanna show you, you do get a little bit of sediment from these types of filters. So let's just take some, get some out of there. So you can see there are some, there is some sediment in the coffee. That is from that filter. That type, those type of filters, you do get a little bit of sediment in your coffee. I do think it adds a little bit of flavor to it, but when you use a coffee maker and you use a paper filter, that's what prevents a sediment in, a, in like a standard cup of coffee. But you'll get the same sediment. If you um, use a reusable filter in a coffee maker, you get that same type of sediment. But if you use a paper filter, no sediment. But again, you just may see that at the bottom of your coffee mug, that's what it is. Again, I think it adds a little bit of flavor. It tastes really good. Okay, so there's our coffee. It is super hot. We're gonna put our lid on it. Let's give it a taste test. Mm, boy, that, that's a really hot cup of coffee, but it tastes really good. Okay, so when you're all done, there's the leftover coffee grounds. Again, you have to clean this up. Be careful. You have to let this cool down. All of this can be very hot. All of this is dishwasher safe. But if you're out camping, you may not have a dishwasher. So the pour over is a great way to make a cup of coffee. You do have to have a hot water source. I hope this video helps. Thanks, everybody, for watching.